We're going on maybe two or three weeks of the right-wing hysteria over Bud Light sponsoring trans influencer Dylan Mulvaney. And Trump Jr. found out that Bud Light, despite how woke they've gone, uh, they are a very prolific fundraiser, or I should say donor to the Republican Party. And he's like, uh, maybe we shouldn't boycott them if they're giving us a lot of money and supporting Republican causes. Um, and other Republicans did not take kindly to that. So this is a reaction uh, between Michael Knowles and Megyn Kelly, where they are, I guess, calling out Donald uh, Trump Jr. Donald Trump enters as somewhat of an apologist for Bud Light, and here's why. Listen. Anheuser-Busch totally shit the bed with this. Did he just say Anheuser-Busch? He's got bussy on the brain. <laughs> or is it? It's Bush, right? It's not actually Bush. Uh, either way, I need to, uh, like, I'm literally, like, a few seconds in, and I'm already pausing it. I, I'm terrible. I'm so sorry. Yeah, he's so horny. I mean, he's coked out, so. Cocaino. Dylan Mulvaney thing. I'm not, though, for destroying an American and iconic company for something like this. When I actually look into it, I'm not going to blame the whole company for the inaction or the stupidity of someone in a marketing campaign that got woke as hell. And we looked into the political giving and lobbying history of Anheuser-Busch. And guess what? They actually support Republicans in in woke corporate America. I mean, if you look at any of these woke corporations, they all donate to Republicans and Democrats. They do. Um, so for him to just find this out in 2023, the year of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, um, it, it leads me to think that he is dumb, to put it politely. Uh, and that is polite. I could be a lot more ruthless to this motherfucker here, but it just, I feel like to not know this and to be a political commentator who, who signed a six-figure deal, I believe, if not seven figures, with Rumble, it's just really embarrassing. Like, it's just a, it's it's obvious. Corporations donate to both parties so they can um, influence policies with regard to taxes. All of this wokeness, this virtue signaling, is them just doing what you expect these companies to do. Like Gen Z, according to a recent poll, I can't remember who conducted it, 20% of them identify as LGBTQ+. Do you think that these corporations don't want to get in on that and specifically target the LGBTQ plus demographic? Of course. They all they want that money, right? They want gay people to buy beer. They want straight people, people to buy bear, beer. They want Antifa to buy beer. They want Nazis to buy beer. They care about money, okay? So that's why they're going to be as broad as possible when marketing. But yes, they donate to Republicans and Democrats so as to have the largest effect politically. But I digress. Anheuser-Busch supports Jesus. Republicans. Anheuser-Busch? Like, what the fuck, man? Stop trying to sound like your dad and just talk like a normal human being. Just to two things, and I'm going to give it to you. Number one, as I point out, this is not an American company. It is not an American company. Number two... You blame me, and I'm not going to blame the entire company for the actions of one woke employee. No, 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 no. The CEO runs the company. The CEO is responsible for everything that happens on his watch. And if the CEO oh, oh in, in wait, woke wait, wait, wait. corporate, I tried to pause it, but I fucked it up. Do you see this little sub icon? Do you think that if I reached out to her and emailed her, she would send me the uh, the raw file so I can green screen this into my videos? I think that would be a much more effective subscribe icon because I have like the generic little bell and subscribe icon on my videos i'll put it right here so you can see what i'm talking about or somewhere on the screen if i turn this into a segment and it's boring but i think that having megan kelly on would be much more uh, impactful in terms of getting people to subscribe but i've gone on like 18 tangents and we're like a couple or no, no no i was gonna say a couple of minutes we're not even one minute in we're 58 seconds in so i will shut the fuck up or try to anyways as difficult as it is for me uh and just listen uh, i didn't stream last week folks so i've got a lot on my heart that happens on his watch. And if the CEO were upset about what the marketing department did here, there is zero evidence of that. Someone needs to get fired at a minimum. If you're not going to issue the apologetic groveling email to your fan base, at least fire somebody so they get that you understand they're upset. Go ahead. Fire someone because they created a brand deal with an influencer. 
That's a little bit extreme, don't you think? That's a very Karen thing, Megan Kelly. But let's see what um totally heterosexual Michael Knowles has to say about this. Michael. I don't know if, if Don is trying to play a little good cop to the rest of our bad cop here and, and try to keep those Republican donations from Bud Light coming on in, especially, obviously, as his father is running for president again. But the, the timing is really unfortunate here because whenever Don made that statement, at the very least, shortly thereafter, or at the very most, rather, shortly thereafter, the CEO makes the statement in which he acknowledges and doesn't quite apologize, but recognizes that it's politically divisive. And it's just really, really weak. So I, I agree with you. Now it's not enough for the VP of marketing to get fired. I think probably the CEO has to get fired at this point. He's <laughs> wow, holy all of this. shit. And, and it's a, a misreading of the moment because while maybe Anheuser-Busch has donated some money to okay, Republicans. I'm sorry, I got to pause it again. They did one brand uh, deal, one sponsored post or two with one influencer, and these motherfuckers are calling for the CEO to step down. The audacity. God damn. They're calling for blood. This is really fucking serious. God damn. The CEO. Holy shit. Americans in recent years, they're doubling down. They're, they are endorsing this radical gender ideology. And so they've forced our hand. And, and especially, this is an issue that we are winning on with the American people because it's, it's just so manifestly absurd. Mm. Have you looked at a poll, bitch? Because you are not winning on this particular issue, okay? You're not winning. Americans think that you are a freak, rightfully so, because look at you. You are a sniveling little freak. And no... You don't have the American people. You don't have the moral high ground. You are fringe, and most people do not give a flying fuck about Bud Light or any other woke corporation. And this is one of the few times that conservatives have actually been able to impose consequences on woke companies for, for going rogue and appealing to the fringe left. And, and so fringe this is left. not the time. The fringe left. How is just like being accepting of trans people fringe in any way that's the majority of the country motherfucker but i mean like this this bullshit this hysteria it's not going to die down anytime soon they keep going from one company to another company nike bud light in fact um there's this article here from the rolling stone where they kind of lay it out right so companies that get woke aren't going broke they're more profitable than ever and they kind of just go through and they talk about how, you know, Bud Light, oh, Jack Daniels is also woke. And then they revisit some recent controversy with uh, conservatives. So this one I didn't even remember. Keurig? So um, the Republican candidate named Roy Moore was running to represent Alabama in the Senate when multiple women accused him of sexual misconduct. Fox News host Sean Hannity cast doubt on the allegations, warning viewers not to rush to judgment. That was a hot take. Uh, which caused Keurig to pull ads for their coffee makers from his show. Uh, this was right as the Me Too movement was taking off. In response, Hannity's fans called for a boycott and started smashing their Keurigs for social media. Yeah, typical trend with conservatives. You also have United Airlines. They went woke. They're done. Go woke, go broke. <laughs> um, Carhartt, I didn't even know about this one. Um, never buy Carhartt products again. Disney, I mean, that one, it's probably the biggest battle that we're seeing. Nike, Amazon, yes, Amazon, very, very woke company. Kellogg's, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. And it's so bad that these motherfuckers now, they are trying to get ahead of these companies with this. So conservatives plot text warnings on woke products. Does this not sound like a trigger warning? A conservative group is offering a new service that texts woke alerts straight to the phones of grocery shoppers who want to know which brands are accused of taking political positions that are offensive to the right. So if a particular brand had any sort of woke brand deal with Colin Kaepernick or Dylan Mulvaney, now you can have this app notify you or text you or whatever and let you know, oh, this is woke. Cancel them. I mean, this is really clown shit, folks. This is absolute buffoonish clown shit. I mean, like, I I could understand if there was a similar app where it's like, hey, this particular company isn't sustainable or they are union buster. But even then, like, there's there's so much companies 
uh, that are linked together, so much parent companies, uh, like it's almost impossible to navigate these things, Like, which is why we often say there's no ethical consumption under capitalism, because if you try to be a moral consumer in this environment, it's almost impossible. Like you basically have to be self-sufficient, right? So I don't know what else to say about this. Um, you know, Bud Light is just one chapter in a very long book of corporations supposedly going woke and subsequently getting canceled by conservatives, but this is not going to stop. But what I will say is that I, for one, am exhausted by the woke nonsense. Um, it was amusing at first. It was funny to laugh at them, but now it's just like, let's move on. I, like, who gives a shit at this point? I, I'm, I'm so, even talking about it. I feel like um, I, I just couldn't care less. And I think that most of you are on the same page. So regardless if tomorrow it's fucking Chips Ahoy or Bed Bath & Body Works uh, or Bed Bath & Beyond, whatever the name of that thing is, um, whatever, they're, they're going to find some reason to be outraged. And the best that we can do is um, just make fun of them, if you will, but don't hesitate to ignore the fuck out of them. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist, wolf, moralist. The dream I saw my maternal grandmother, she was stroking herself absent mindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.